All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Let's get started. And welcome to What's New in Empower 2015. I'm Melissa Henley, Director of Marketing Communications, and I'm so pleased that you are all here with me this morning. So this morning, if you didn't see us on Twitter, I'm joined by Manager of Inbound Marketing, Simon Poulton. Say good morning, Simon. Well, and we're so pleased to have you. So Simon's going to be monitoring the Q&A box. So if you have any questions about webinar logistics, please go ahead and enter them, and he'll be happy to help you. So I see some of you are using them right now. So Simon's going to go ahead and uh, answer, answer those right now. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Also, if you really feel the urge to share your thoughts, you can do on Twitter. You can do that using the hashtag Empower15, which is our um, which is our official Empower hashtag. So go ahead and uh, share your thoughts as we um, as we get going. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and use them in the Q&A box, and we will um, get to all of your questions. So this morning, you may be wondering, well, what is new with Empower 2015? And the answer is a lot. So here's a brief overview of what we'll be covering this morning. First, we'll talk about what's new with the tracks and courses at Empower 2015. We'll talk about the features in the new class picker. We'll be sharing tips and tricks to justify your Empower attendance for those of you who have not registered yet. And of course, as we said, we'll be announcing our Win Your Way to Empower contest winners. So be sure to stay all the way through to the end. I know Simon on LinkedIn was promising some witty banter. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll fulfill that. I make no guarantees. Simon's more on the witty end and I'm more on the bantering end. But we'll, uh, we'll do our best to keep you, keep you amused. And again, if you have any questions while we're going through, please go ahead and enter them into the Q&A box. We'll be monitoring them throughout the webinar and we'll get to as many of them as we can at the end. So first, you may say, who are we? What qualifications do Simon and I have to talk about Empower? Besides, you know, our general love of empowering in the Laserfish community. Well, if you've been to the Laserfish conference, you know me as the person who's on stage emceeing the general session and presenting the Run Smarter Awards. And you may know Simon as the man behind the Laserfish Twitter account. But you probably definitely know us as the really enthusiastic folks who really, really, really love Empower. So, Simon, why do you love Empower so much? That's, uh, that's an excellent question. Uh, Empower is the kind of event that you really have to see to believe. Before my first Empower conference, I'd heard it was going to be amazing, uh, but nothing really could have prepared me for how awesome and amazing the community was. Uh, whether this is your first conference or you've been with us since the very beginning, everyone leaves feeling empowered and ready to drive positive change within their organizations. What about you, Melissa? Well, what do you love about Empower? Well, you know, so Simon gave you a really philosophical answer, and my answer is I love Empower so much because how can you not love putting 2,000 of our smartest, best-looking Laserfish fans and friends in one room? It is absolutely my favorite time of the year because I get to talk to all of you, hear what you're doing with Laserfish, and learn more about how Laserfish helps you operate more efficiently. It is true when I say you are the wind beneath our wings, and you are the reason we do what we do, and being able to be with thousands of all of you at once is really the highlight of my year, and it's what gets my year started off the best. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. Well, and also, you know, really, our entire community looks wonderful in Laserfish Orange. Uh, honestly, they're one of the best-looking communities out there. They are all very attractive and also very intelligent. It's, it's amazing. Truly, they are the smartest. <laughs> I, the I definitely think so. And the most enthusiastic. That's very, very true. And so that's just a little taste of why Simon and I are especially excited to be here today with you to tell you all about the exciting things we have in store for you at Empower 2015. 
So first, a little bit about what's new. Now this year, we had a great problem to solve. Empower has grown again. As you may recall, Empower 2014 sold out four weeks ahead of schedule. So a lot of folks who wanted to attend weren't able to. So this year, to accommodate everyone, we've expanded Empower to the Anaheim Marriott and the Sheraton Park Hotel at the Anaheim Convention Center campus. Now what that means for you is keynotes, labs, meals, and some classes will be at the Marriott, while the rest of our classes will take place a short 10-minute walk away at the Sheraton Park. It'll be a great way to um, enjoy the beautiful Southern California weather we get to enjoy here in January. Now, what this also means is that we will have more space, more space to offer more classes. This year we'll have, did you know, Simon, twice the number of customer stories? I actually did know that, uh, but I think that was me doing my due diligence before the webinar, but it's very exciting. Simon actually knows that because I, we've, we've rehearsed this twice, and I think he's heard me say it about three times now. So, uh, But yes, for you all, we'll be offering twice, and, twice our customer stories, which are among our most popular courses in Empower, as well as several new tracks. We'll also have more sessions of our most popular classes. Some of our classes will have as many as four different class times to choose from. And we'll be offering more than 200 distinct sessions for you to choose from. Pretty awesome, right, Simon? Oh, that, that is, that's fantastic. To be honest, uh, there are a lot of classes that I personally would like to take as well. So hopefully I'll be able to find some time for that. You, you, can, you can probably track what, what classes Simon is in by tracking where the, uh, what, what classes are being live tweeted on our Twitter account. That's very, very true. So uh, if you do want to uh, be promoted and uh, we'll feature you on our Twitter account, if you come up to me in one of our classes, I'll be more than happy to uh, take a selfie with you, just like Melissa and I did this morning on Twitter. It's uh, definitely uh, one for the ages, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to miss that. So every year, we ask you why you attend Empower, and you may actually be surprised to hear that uh, learning best practices, learning how to automate your processes, and hearing how other customers are using Laser Feature in the top four, right up there with learning about the newest products and features. I was pretty surprised by that. And so this year, we wanted to make it easier for you to find the courses that meet your needs, so we're pleased to offer not just new courses, but new tracks. So this year, we have a few new things. We have new courses for business managers that are focused on the steps between implementing the product and making your project successful, which is always the challenge. You know, it's easy to install software. Sometimes it's hard to get people to change the way they're used to doing things. Absolutely. That, that honestly, is probably one of the hardest parts about onboarding anyone to anything new in life, really. Change management is ultimately uh, the make or break point Simon's just saying that because he has a really hard time making me uh, change my, I'm pretty set in my ways. <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> um, we'll also have more classes on project management, change management, figuring out what processes to automate, and those steps that sort of take place outside of workflow, and how to map the steps. We've got an entire slate of these types of courses, which we hope will be very useful to you. And whether you're brand new to LaserFiche or are an advanced developer, you'll find new tracks designed specifically for your needs. And of course, you know what everyone loves most about Empower, Simon. And what is that, Melissa? I, see, I thought you were going to respond with <laughs> seeing us. Well, of course. I mean, we are there, but I mean, the community is really exciting. In fact, the community is, is what really drives it. So I hope it's something to do with the community. Actually, it's not. Ah. Labs. Of course. Everyone loves labs. And we're going to have more of them than ever this year with more space and more laptops and more room. More everything, really. If, if you wanted it in the lab last year and you didn't feel there was enough of it, there'll be more of it this year. It's going to be, it's going to be great. So these are some <laughs> great new things that we implemented directly due to your feedback. So new tracks. These are some pretty awesome new tracks we've got, Simon. Oh, these are extreme. Uh, I mean, there are so many tracks, and, and just 
for us to only feature these five, uh, really, there are so many amazing classes that, that we're going to go over today. Uh, Melissa, why don't, you, why don't you kick this off and uh, tell us all about advanced customization and integration, your favorite topic. It is my favorite topic because it's the one CPP course, you know, that I'm unable to tackle. Unfortunately, my, my, my political science degree, we didn't cover a lot of, uh, a lot of computer science. Melissa sells herself uh, short here, but she does actually have every single other CPP. Uh, we internally like to call her the laser brain because she knows everything about the software and everything about our community. Uh, so definitely, uh, I mean, missing one CPP, that's not the end of the world. Uh, she's definitely a pro when it comes to everything else. Well, I do have to confess that I think the classes in advanced customization and integration are a little bit beyond my skill level. But for those of you who are developers, um, or integrators, these are the classes that will help you learn how to use the many integration options across the LaserPeach product line to create your own applications and customizations. So for those of you who are interested in these courses, um, before you may remember that they were kind of spread all around, not only do we have them all gathered into one track, but we have more of them this year. And then for our LaserFish administrators, we have administration and enterprise deployment, which covers the fundamental concepts of planning the deployment and ongoing management of a laser fish system. So the fun topics for our laser fish administrators, Simon. Oh, absolutely. You know, managing users and licenses, business continuity requirements like backup and recovery, optimization, troubleshooting. This is where our laser fish administrators in this track will learn how to keep their Laserfish systems operating at peak performance. But the next track is one I'm most excited about. I, I gotta say, I'm personally very excited about this one too. Well, me, I, for selfish reasons, because this is the role I play in our uh, marketing Laserfish system. And that's the um, business manager role. The person who kind of thinks what to do and then tells other people what to do. So for, for those of you who are in that role, we have the business analysis and strategy track. And these are the courses that really focus on project management, change management, and process automation best practices. So department managers and business analysts can learn techniques to drive their LaserFish implementations forward. But this is also where we'll have some industry best practice classes, and we have some pretty exciting ones on deck. Yeah, in fact, uh, I think we might be uh, talking about some of those later on, possibly. Possibly. And then uh, last but not least, uh, for our newer users, we have a new track called LaserFish Basics. Everything from your first day with LaserFish to searching and scanning, anyone who's brand new to LaserFish will find all the courses they need in the LaserFish Basics track. And our customer stories this year, um, because we have such a large variety of them, have their own track pretty awesome. Oh, it's extremely exciting. I'm excited. And it's, and it's only, it's, and the conference is 119 <laughs> days away. That's true. In fact, Melissa yesterday uh, said, Simon, because we actually sit across from each other, she said, Simon, how many days are they still in power? Thinking I would have a countdown. I actually only, only knew the number of days until the end of early bird, which is 66 days. So if you are wanting to come to Empower this year, be sure to get uh, registered before the early bird deadline. You'll save yourself $300. And really, uh, why wouldn't you want to sign up already? Then you can definitely guarantee your spot in some of these really exciting classes that Melissa's about to go over. I feel like we're giving everyone a very frightening look into the inner working of the LaserFish <laughs> marketing department. It, it's true. It's very scary. That we, that we have a mental countdown of all the important Empower days like in our head. Uh, you know, I'm sure we're not alone. I'm sure there are others out there as well who are as excited as we are. Well, I'll, say, I'll tell you what, guys, if uh, attendees, if you actually, too, have a countdown to Empower uh, going on, uh, let us know in the Q&A box or on Twitter using the hashtag Empower15. We would love to know that Simon and I are not alone. Absolutely. We would definitely love to see that. <laughs> so um, our new classes um, – this year for project management. Now, on the Empower survey, we asked you what were the topics you were most interested in learning most about next year. And overwhelmingly, there were two topics that topped the list. Number one was project management. And so for those of you who are interested in project management, we have five brand new courses that really are designed for you. 
So here are some ones to look out for. We have seven habits of highly effective project managers, which will cover all the project management principles you can use to meet aggressive deadlines. So everything to prevent scope creep and cost increases, to manage the implementation of Laserfish systems, large and small. Then getting started with requirements gathering and how to write a statement of work really work together to um, get, so you learn how to get the right information from the people you're working with. And then turn it into a statement of work so you know that what you're delivering is actually meeting the needs of the people you're working with. Because, I mean, I'm sure we've all had those projects and they are, don't even necessarily have to be technology projects where you, like in marketing, this happens all the time. We hear what people say they want, which is, you know, nothing like what they actually want. Absolutely. It reminds me of the uh, the little uh, picture they have of someone saying, this is the tree house I would like. And then you get an architect to design it or you get a system admin to design it. And everyone will have their own view of it. So it really is very important to, to, to get these uh, ideas down and make sure that you set that statement of work clearly. Exactly. I actually have that cartoon hanging up on my wall because that, it that's is probably where I've seen it. <laughs> it is probably true. And in case you're wondering, the marketing one is like an you know, it's like a uh iPhone hanging from the tree. So um and then we have best practices for project management where you'll go beyond the basics to learn more about estimating effort and scheduling, ways to avoid typical pitfalls, and most importantly, how to keep your customers happy while you're deploying that project. And then last but not least, in best practices for project design and implementation, you'll learn how to translate all those business needs into the technical details. So how do you take what people say they want and turn it into a solution that meets their needs using LaserFuge software? And this class will cover that. So it's a pretty well-rounded slate of how to run a successful project, wouldn't you say? Oh, d definitely. I, I think there are going to be takeaways for people who have never managed a project before and those who consider themselves veterans at project management. Well, you know what, you know what people, uh, right after project management, you know what people, the next topic people said they wanted to learn the most about? Well, I think it actually might be one of my favorites. Uh, is it something to do with change management possibly? It is, and you know, coincidentally, it's a topic that ties right into successful project management. It is change management. And, you know, it's funny, someone responded to the survey, I selected change management, but I'm writing it here in the, in the, in the um, comments box because you really, 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 like four reallys need to have this covered. So this year we're actually really, really, really happy to bring you some courses on change management. And stay tuned, by the way, for our customer classes because I hear that some of those are going to deal with this very topic as well. But this first class, Community Development 101, um, I hear is actually going to be pretty interesting. Simon, why don't you tell everyone something about it? Well, you know, I've actually heard that as well. Uh, and uh, it's not just because I am uh, presenting this class, uh, it's because there will actually be a lot of very interesting and actionable takeaways uh, from the session. Uh, so during this session, I'll be covering the social science elements involved in the formation of online communities. Uh, developing an online community for modern organizations is no longer just an option, uh, but it really is an imperative for modern customer engagement. Online communities can come in all shapes and sizes, but the science behind them is very scalable. Uh, so this session will be great for anyone looking to drive citizen engagement or their brand's social footprint. Now, Simon's very modest, and what he's not telling you is he was actually named one of the 25 social business leaders by the Economist Intelligence Unit. Simon was up there with folks from Zappos and Ford and really, like, some really prestigious people. And so he really has the, you know, he knows what he's talking about. So this will be a great class to attend. I have utmost faith in him. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much for the uh, commendation there. Yeah. And this next class, I mean, that sounds like it's going to be pretty good, too. You know what? It does. And uh, it's not just because you're teaching it. It's because I really, really do think that getting people on board with your Laserfish initiative is so key to a successful deployment. Well, so why don't you tell us what that class is all well, about? Well, I will. Thanks, Simon. Um, well, if you ask me what I know about, it's marketing. And if you also ask me why some ideas succeed and others fail, 
it, it oftentimes doesn't have to do with the quality of the idea. It has to do with how well it's packaged and presented. And so in this class, I'll be talking about the marketing angle of change management. So how do you build excitement for a laser fish initiative in a new project or get everyone on board with your idea? How do you look at the needs of your boss, your boss's boss, your city council, and position what you want to do in a way that addresses their needs so they sign off on it? And most importantly, how do you present it well? So I have some good, I have some tips and tricks based on failures in my past where I've walked in with a, you know, 60 page document and said, well, here, obviously this huge document will show you I've done my research. And of course, do you know a C-level executive that wants to read through a 60 page document? That they just don't have the time. No, they'd like to read six bullet points. Exactly. They assume you've, you know, done the, the research. The, the aptly named executive summary. Exactly. So we'll be covering not only how do I how to position your idea to address the needs of your stakeholders, but also how to present it well and with confidence. And, and this is really so key. Uh, your entire deployment can hinge on your executive buy-in. So, so this class will be excellent to attend for anyone who's either getting their organization on board to begin with or looking to expand across multiple departments. Exactly, and most exciting, this year, we are also offering principles of effective change management. And this is taught by Joan Goodwin, the Managing Director at High Impact Consulting. And Joan is gonna teach you how to enact successful change by gaining a deeper understanding on how to deal with the mental and psychological aspects of change. So, you know, people are often afraid of change. It's scary. And so in this class, you'll learn how to lead people successfully through change by engaging their hearts and minds. So it's actually kind of some really different angles of change management, the psychological side, the marketing side, and the community building side. So we've got, we've got some, some, neat, uh, some neat classes going on for you here. And then those of you who focus with business analysis or are concerned with the steps of process automation that aren't involved with workflow, You'll be excited about these classes, which focus on the higher level view of business process automation. We've got business process strategies and digitize your business processes, which really help you think about mapping your business processes and getting them ready to put into forms or workflow. And in digitize your business processes, you actually will learn how to, how to Digitize your entire process, starting with the moment a piece of paper hits the scanner. No more paper, everything's automated. And in Elementary My Dear Workflow, I'm really excited about this one, Simon. I am too. Sorry, <laughs> I was just answering a few uh, Q&A questions right there, and uh, I believe we actually do have a couple friends who are also counting down to empower with us. So. That's so exciting, yeah. we're not the only ones, we, Simon. We are not alone, uh, it is a very exciting day. Oh, thank you so much, everyone who responded and let us know that Simon and I are not the only people who are super duper excited for Empower out there. You should, well, you should see the whiteboards that we have here, just just Empower countdowns everywhere. Very, very exciting. We really we should we should probably tweet a picture of that. Yeah, maybe absolutely. when we get back upstairs. Why not? So, Elementary My Dear Workflow. It's a really exciting class. It's actually based on one of our most popular user group presentations. So, Mike Wells leader of the Virginia user group will teach you how to unlock the mysteries of process automation. You'll learn how to plan out your project, choose the right tools, and avoid the crimes of bad automation in this fun-filled class. Now, Ooh, yeah, I know, yeah, that was, I know, yeah. I mean, we've all made some of those mistakes, right? We have. I, I, I mean, solving a workflow mystery, that's, that's very exciting. Exactly. Now, this class was so popular, we brought it all the way from Virginia out, out to California for Empower. So definitely you don't want to miss this one. And then we have, for our financial friends, Five Steps to Paperless New Account Processing and Best Practices and Workflow Automation and Wealth Management. So those ways to really uh, save as many as 40 days a year for every employee to engage in more revenue generating activities. Pretty awesome. That's, and then, a, that's a huge saving. Last but not least, my very favorite. Process Automation Manager Edition. I, I, every time I see this title, I want to yell, move that workflow, um, which it, probably it, really tells you what sort of TV shows I watched about. Extreme Makeover Workflow Edition. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. 
Classic. Uh huh. Um, so I, you know, want, you know why I really like to use workflow and forms. Why, why is that, Melissa? Well, not just that it helps you do things faster. Mm -hmm. You get a better insight into what your staff is doing. Very true. And how quickly they're doing it. Absolutely, you can follow the process along. Mm hmm. And so this class will teach you how to streamline day-to-day -day tasks and encourage, uh, like, encourage productivity using our process management tools. So learn how to achieve faster task completion using forms and workflow. And what manager doesn't want that? Very true. But you know what I you know what I have next, Simon? Uh, what would that be, Melissa? Well, I have a sneak peek at some of our customer stories, which aren't even up on the website yet. Ooh, so this is a very, very first sneak peek just for this morning's webinar attendees. They're learning all about the new customer stories we're going to have. Is there anything you can tease us with this morning, Melissa? Oh, I can tease you with a couple, yeah? but you know, you know what's being brought back by popular demand. What's that? Well. Uh, actually, Adam Galvin is going to come back to re to uh, talk some more about setting up electronic forms for HR and AP processes. That, that's yeah. extremely exciting. And uh, if, if I can take a second here just to uh, mention Adam Galvin, uh, he is definitely one of the shining stars uh, in the Laserfish community, and he has uh, recently done a, a webinar with us. But he also has another one all about forms coming up uh, on the 24th of September. So at the end of this uh, webinar, you'll be redirected to a page and you'll be able to see that on there. And you can go ahead and sign up for that if you'd like to see how one of the uh, most forward-thinking uh, institutions is, is really working with Laserfish uh, forms to create a much more streamlined uh, department. And I believe this one will be going over HR best practices? Uh, AP. AP. Well, that's just as exciting. Including how he used the data that he's collecting through forms to set up an online dashboard. Board. Very interesting. Yeah, very exciting. But you know what else is coming back? Hmm, something that's coming back. Is it round two? It is. Ooh. So for those of you who missed our very fun uh, quick field versus workflow smackdown last year, I uh, hear rumors that there's going to be a rematch. Ooh, the... Thrill in Manila folders? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Rumble in the Jungle rematch. <laughs> I like it. Although I, maybe ne maybe for 20, uh, 2016 we'll have the Thrill in Manila folders. That's excellent. pretty entertaining, Simon. Thank you. We, well, we actually just had a question from Tony Garuzzi. I missed the SmackDown last year. Are you going to have another one? Excellent timing, Tony. Well, Ooh. Tony, as usual, you're right on the ball. And we will, uh, in this year, you know what's even better? It's not just. Quick fields versus workflow anymore. Oh, a third competitor being thrown into the ring. A third competitor is 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 throwing their hat in the ring. And what might that third competitor be, Melissa? Forms. Ooh, very exciting. So, quick fields versus workflow versus forms. You won't want to miss it. And so, this is definitely a class that I will be live tweeting. I mean, clearly. <laughs> I mean, who who wouldn't want to? It was. We actually did a. We we tried this one out at the Virginia User Group uh, a few months ago, and it was a big hit. But even more than that. I feel like a, I feel like an info like I'm running an infomercial, but wait, there's more. Oh yes, there is. If you order now, no. if you order now, I can offer you some exciting new classes. I will take a selfie with you. <laughs> Simon will take a selfie with you. I will. Just I will. In case you're wondering. Um, we actually, going back to change management, have a really exciting class that I can tell you about from our friends at Olmstead County. Ooh. That using ECM technology and Kaizen project management to create more efficient and sustainable operations across the entire county. So creating a lean approach to business process analysis. So that's one that will that you'll want to be watching the calendar for. Also, our friends at Texas A&M. Texas A&M have done some fantastic things and and we've I've read several of their articles that that we've seen out there about them. Uh this is definitely a not to be missed session. Yes, and in fact do you know they're not only one of the biggest university systems in the U.S., but they also have the biggest Laserfish higher education user group within a single system? You could say that they are the Laserfish 12th man. You could say you that. Could absolutely. Take take Texas A&M. Uh, Melissa was actually just out there recently. Yes, I now I now know if you're ever at a Texas A&M user group and people are talking amongst themselves, if you say howdy, everyone will sit down and look at you look at you and say howdy back. 
So just just a tip if you're ever at ever in uh, College Station in <laughs> Aggie Land. All righty, duly noted. Um, so uh, Dr. Judith Lewis from Texas A&M, she's a senior IT manager, is going to share best practices for evaluating and instituting shared service delivery, including obtaining buy-in, defining stakeholder and business officer responsibilities, and generating repeatable outcomes. So anyone who's considering um, taking their laser fish system from department to enterprise wide possibly uh, instituting a shared service of their own, won't want to miss this class. Uh, Dr. Lewis has actually uh, really gotten national recognition for her shared service she's instituted with LaserFuge. So this is one not to be missed. And then we'll also have um, Hanson McLean, a Sacramento-based RIA broker-dealer firm that is uh, going to talk about how they uh, use workflow Laser app and DocuSign to automate their business practices. That's very interesting. Yeah, Com so, combining all those elements. Yeah, so um, definitely stay tuned to the course picker. As I said, these are all sneak peeks. These aren't even live yet, so you're getting you're definitely getting a sneak peek right here live on the webinar today. Now, Simon, I think I had better uh, let you talk a little bit and share some stuff with. Uh, with our with our folks here because you have some exciting news to share with everyone. That is very true, and, and thank you for that, that great overview of uh, some of the highlighted classes that are coming up at Empower 2015. Uh, now this year, we do have a very exciting announcement to make, and that is that we have completely overhauled the new class picker. And for the very Ooh. first time, we're very excited today, to announce the class picker is live. You can go ahead and check this out following this webinar. But what is even more exciting here is that in addition to the numerous aesthetic improvements, we've also included several new ways to find classes and share your schedule with others. Uh, as part of this overhaul, we've also taken a mobile first approach and the entire class picker is now fully responsive. Uh, this was a request we have heard from many members of the community, and we're excited to officially launch this feature today. Not only will you be able to access your personalized schedule from any device, you'll also be able to add and drop classes via touch from the device of your choice. So Simon Kin, so does that mean that I'll be able to actually use my phone or my tablet to access the full course picker? That is absolutely correct. Uh, you, you'll be able to use it even if you don't have an internet connection. We provided a very easy way for you to just download it within the app, but we'll be talking about that in just a little bit. This is, this is a very exciting day. Oh, it really is. We're, we are all very excited, and not just because it's got a lot of pretty colors, which it does. It's true, it does. <laughs> He's Simon's right. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and jump on in. One of the first things that you'll notice is the use of color throughout the picker. Now these colors are aligned with specific course tracks that you can see on the left side of the screen. In addition to these tracks, we now have several new options to filter by, including the option to sort by track, course type, and recommendations. I'd have to say uh, my favorite is the ability to filter recommended classes by role. This is something our new users have found particularly helpful in previous years. If you can't find what you want using filters, we've also included a free text search for the very first time. Ooh, free text search. Does that mean if someone wanted to take all of my classes, they could just <laughs> type my name in the box and they would all pop up? That is exactly what that means. In fact, if you have any favorite instructors or just any keywords that you really want to hit on, go ahead and use that free text search field and you'll be able to find them very easily. I know last year we had uh, we had some fans for uh, for Pava and Connie and, and some of the other the, the, the Laserfish folks, so uh, if you want to get into their courses, definitely check this out very soon. Cause I think they that's, that's going to be really handy for oh, everyone yeah. who really likes, you know, Connie's classes or really likes to take class all the classes on a certain topic, this will be really useful. Definitely. All righty. So once you have selected which filters you would like to use, you will still need to browse through your class options. Now classes are organized by start, time, and day. If you'd like to learn more about a certain class, simply click on it and the window will expand just like this. 
From here, we can see which room the class will be held in, who is teaching it, and the key takeaways you can expect from this class. We have also included a new feature that allows you to jump between different times for the same class. Due to exceptionally high demand, we offer our most popular classes multiple times. And as Melissa was saying before, up to four times throughout the conference. So even if the first session of a class you really want to get into is full, there's a good chance we have an alternative option for you. Now, let's start building your schedule. Alrighty. Once you've decided which class you would like to add, simply click Add Session, and you'll see your schedule appear from the right side of the page. From here, you can see an overview of what your schedule looks like, as well as any classes that you might be on the wait list for. Hey, getting the most out of the conference on Tuesday, that looks like that would be a good class for the pre-conference day. Absolutely. If, if you are coming and you're joining us uh, early for Empower this year, and you've, especially if you've never come before, definitely take advantage of this class. You will not regret it. Uh, Sierra and Tammy both have some excellent insights about what you can learn and what you really should do to make the most of your time at Empower. Especially the net, I find, uh, especially for first-time attendees, the networking advice is really key. Oh, absolutely. All right. So, what about lab classes? Well, we absolutely do have a lot of lab classes. And this year, if you're selecting a lab class, we've also added an option for you to reserve a spot with a laptop provided by Laserfiche, or indicate if you are planning to bring your own. Now, there are only a limited number of laptops we can provide for each session, so this option will allow those embracing the BYO laptop initiative to reserve their spot in labs that would otherwise be full. We certainly encourage all attendees to bring their own laptop if they can. Our on-site team will be happy to set you up with the required conference virtual machine, or you can download that before the conference. Uh, just look out for an email pretty soon. I know we got that question through the uh, Q&A just before, so just letting you know, yes, you will be able to download the conference VM prior to Empower. And if not, you can stop by the Info Center. Absolutely. Where one of our staff will be happy to assist you in adding it, putting it on your computer. Absolutely. The Info Center, of course, if you've never been to Empower, is really the hub of Empower excitement. Uh, not only do you have myself and Melissa standing there and, and uh, handing out copies of QBS. Simon, I really don't think we're the draw of the Info Center. <laughs> you don't think so? No, I think the, I think the developers, ah. the pre-sales engineers, and all the technical folks are probably the draw of the Info Center. I think we're just a happy bonus. <laughs> you know, I, I think that makes sense, actually. It, last year, I remember everyone just making a beeline uh, directly over to our pre-sales team. Uh, and so if you are stuck on anything or if you need any technical support uh, while you are there with latest related issues, our team will be more than happy to help. Yes, and in fact, if you have a question that's not answered during class, you have you would like to discuss a you know a feature request or a concern one on one. The info center is definitely the place to come because our developers, our pre-sales engineers, just pretty much everyone technical is in the info center anytime the conference is all going on except for during keynotes and of course Simon and me too but I really you know we're we're like I said we're the we're the bonus yeah, yeah d definitely come for the knowledge stay for the stay for the QBS book. Yeah. and and the friendly banter yes sorry the witty banter of course <laughs> um, all right, so this year uh, we have something that's very special uh, and something that we've heard many requests for uh, in previous years, uh, and that is the option to share your schedule. So in terms of uh, sharing your schedule, we now have a variety of ways for you to do this. You can easily print or download a PDF copy of your personal schedule directly from the class picker, and new this year, we've also included the ability to uh, email a PDF copy of your schedule to yourself, your manager, or anyone that you would like. Uh, although, please don't email it to myself and Melissa. We do get a lot of them. We're very excited that you got into all the classes. Uh, but ultimately, we would uh, <laughs> not like our inboxes to be completely over over overwhelmed. But we are excited for you. Well, and you can also, you know, if you have friends that are attending Empower with you, you know, or that you're going to meet up with at Empower, it's a good way to let them know what classes you're going to be taking. A absolutely, especially if you're uh, coming with other members of your organization and, and you want to maybe go to a few different classes, you can really make the most of your time there as well. That's a, that's a great way to compare it's a great way to It's a great way to make the most of your conference attendance. Absolutely. All righty. So uh, speaking of emailing, 
to email your schedule, all you'll need to do is simply click on the email option, add an email address into the empty field, and click send. It really is that easy. Uh, so when is the class ticket going live? I hear you all just murmuring out there. Well. As I said just before, the class ticket is live right now. So immediately following this webinar, go ahead and check it out. Uh, you can be some of the first people to reserve your spot. Just as a special thank you for joining us uh, on this webinar today. All right. Uh, <clears throat> If you've already registered for Empower 2015, then go ahead and go over to the official Empower website where you'll find a link directly to the class picker. Although if you haven't registered yet, what are you waiting for? Just like last year's conference, Empower 2015 will sell out. Uh, now we know some of you might have a hard time making the case or justifying your attendance to your manager. Uh, and that's why we have some excellent news for you. Melissa? We do. Thanks, Simon. If you can, uh, thank you very much. Um, so we do understand that uh, sometimes it's hard to make the case, to make the investment to attend Empower. So while you're at the conference site looking at classes, flip on over to the About tab, scroll down, and we have a section called Convince Your Boss where you can download our all-new Justification Toolkit. Now, the toolkit includes a budget worksheet, a customizable approval letter, but most exciting, two new pieces we hope will be very useful to you. A um, intro to Empower, which covers the statistics of who attends, what roles, what industry, some success stories of folks in different roles that have attended Empower, um, as well as interviews with past Empower attendees really focused on the educational benefits of attending Empower. As people say, this is a substantive, substantive conference. No fluff. It's not a party. So, you know, people don't come and go to Disneyland. They come and really learn. Although if they do want to go to Disneyland, we do have uh, discount tickets available on the Empower website. Yes, and you could maybe, you know, since it runs through Friday, you could go on Saturday. Absolutely. Great idea. And. Um, so it really is a substantive conference where you'll learn a lot. So this intro um, really covers that and will help you frame your case to your manager. The other new thing we've added this year is a trip report, which um, helps you track what you're doing at Empower so you can really tie it back to business value to your organization. So you can track the goals you set up with your manager. Um, how what you're learning ties back to those goals. We have ROI trackers for each session, the key takeaways from each session, how you plan to implement them back at your organization, new functionality you plan to implement, a uh, place where you can track what you've learned from different exhibitors or in the Q&A, a tracker where you can keep track of the new relationships you've made with other members of the community, and then most importantly, a value summary worksheet where you can really narrow, you know, five days of Empower down into two pages. What do you plan to implement? How do you plan to do it? How do you plan to share the knowledge that you've, uh, that you've uh, gained at Empower with everyone else in your organization? So again, you can download that on the Empower website uh, under the About tab. If you have any trouble finding it, feel free to shoot me an email and I will be happy to uh, help you out. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for that, Melissa. You know, uh, this year, as you were saying, we have so many opportunities for community uh, in involvement and engagement. Uh, this year, and in a few moments, we'll have a very, very special announcement. Uh, it's now even easier to connect with other attendees, both before, after, and during Empower. In addition to engaging with fellow attendees on Twitter using the official hashtag Empower15, uh, we'll also be launching the official Empower2015 group on Laserfish Answers. Ooh, this is so exciting, this Simon. Is this is very exciting. Uh, th this is a, a very special announcement just for everyone today. Uh, groups on Laserfish Answers 
are now live. Uh, we're taking this opportunity to launch groups, not just for Empower, but for all the major industries we serve, as well as uh, a special group uh, called the Laserfish Lounge, where you can uh, engage with other Laserfish uh, users. Now, you don't have to necessarily have a problem, but you could have an idea, or you could have something for discussion. This is exactly the place where you can go to do that. We encourage you to go ahead, join these groups, become an active part of our community, and we will be over the moon, really. Uh, you'll also get a lot of really valuable insights from these groups. Uh, you also never know when a member of our team might reach out and reward you for being a community rock star. Here we can see the Empower group specifically. Uh, following this webinar, I highly encourage you to go uh, sign up and join this group. Uh, all groups are now officially live. Also be sure to check back often as we'll have all kinds of exciting announcements as well as introducing you to our community leaders. The Empower Group is a great way to connect with other attendees uh, throughout the conference, uh, from organizing meetups to getting answers about all of your Empower questions. This group is a must visit for anyone attending Empower. Yeah, it looks like there's an exciting new topic that was just started <laughs> on um, what classes are you most looking forward to at Empower? I, I, you know, that's a, I'm going to actually go ahead and comment on that following this webinar. And uh, if anyone else would like to, I'm going to head over to, to Laserfish Answers groups uh, following this, and I'll be happy to answer any and all questions there as well. So. And to find this, people just have to go to answers.laserfish.com, and then there's the groups link right there in the top bar, and click that, and the Empower 2015 group will be right there. So, what do you, how do you, how do you think you'll use this during Empower, Simon? The, the number of ways we can use this is, is unfathomable, really. Uh, but personally, I'm hoping to have some meetups. Uh, I'm really into CrossFit for those who who know me, and I'm planning on maybe having a few early morning CrossFit sessions where we'll organize a meetup and we can have uh, the Fish CrossFit crew. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> how about you, Melissa? Well, you know, some of you who follow Laser Fish on Twitter know that I love to knit. So perhaps we'll have some other knitters attending Empower who might want to meet up after one of the receptions for a little, you know, stitching and chatting about, <laughs> you know, what we've learned. Maybe everyone will have some great Empower knitting they'll want to share. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just sit in the lounge and see if anyone stops by and talks to me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure the uh, all the meetups and everything that happens in that group will be very exciting. So make sure that you go ahead, join that group, and you'll get updates uh, periodically as well. So you can definitely stay in the loop with all the Empower news. So if someone had a question about, you know, a class, yeah. like would this be a good class for me to take? This would be a good place for them to, to ask Absolutely. that? Absolutely. This would be a great place. Uh, we, we all have all kinds of uh, potential schedules available, uh, tracks by role, but definitely go on here, get the advice of your peers, uh, find out what classes are really going to be valuable for you specifically from those who've attended before. All righty, Melissa. Well, we're almost out of time this morning, but we have left one very special announcement for, for the end. We have, haven't we, Simon? We have indeed. Melissa, would you like to do the honors? Yes, so for those of you who uh, participated in our Win Your Way to Empower contest, we are pleased to announce our winners. And congratulations to the following. David Ross from Mitchell Community College, our friend Joy Bedingfield from the city of Roanoke, Virginia, Britta Scampton from BGM True North Wealth Partners, Edward Zasky from the County of Santa Barbara, Stephanie Matter from North Star Financial Services Group, Sonia Seymour from KMS Financial Services, David Burnett from the city of Oklahoma City, Randy Schollerman from the San Gabriel Basin Water Quality Authority, Janiqua Eldridge from Denton Independent School District, and Andrew O'Mara from the University of Central Florida Police. So all of you will see emails in your inbox right after this webinar. Although if you're, uh, I'll see someone saying, go Denton. Uh, our, one of our, one of our longtime laser fish friends, go Denton indeed. Um, so we're very, we're very pleased uh, for all of you. You can expect emails in your inbox. So we still have a few minutes left, and we'll try to get to as many questions as possible. I did see one question about when Run Smarter winners can expect to be uh, notified if they've won. Um, we are actually putting the final touches on the email, so you can expect that, if not today, uh, tomorrow. 
or by the end of the week at the latest. We just finalized our voting, so we are very excited. We have some really, really good winners this year. Oh, yes. It's uh, it's certainly very exciting to uh, hear all the chatter about that. There's one thing I love more than Empower. It's our Run Smarter Award winners. It's very true. And and they love taking selfies, selfies with you as well, as, as we all saw last year yeah. on stage. And we have another question. Can we create our own group if our industry is not covered? And the answer is yes, suggested in the Laserfish Lounge. And then uh, Simon or one of our other uh, community managers will follow up with you about getting that group started. So if you have any ideas for a group on Laserfish Answers that has not, it does not exist yet, post it in the Laserfish Lounge. And Simon or one of our other fantastic Laserfish folks will get right back with you. I also saw another question about how you find the Empower 2015 group. Again, go to answers.laserfish.com and click groups in the top nav, and you'll find the Empower 2015 group along with all of our other groups. That's right. And uh, we also have a question here. Uh, how, how can I share this recording with potential attendees? Excellent question, Doug. Uh, we will actually have the recording available uh, very shortly. Later, later today, it should be online, and you'll be receiving an email very shortly with the recording. And you can just forward that email to everyone you'd like. Absolutely. It's as it, it's easy as that. In fact, I encourage you gather all your friends together in a conference room and watch it with maybe, you know, maybe some snacks and <laughs> some pop. There you go. Make but, it a party. Yeah. Get Why the not? Empower Spirit started early. <laughs> Only 119 days to go. Um, we have another question. Uh, is BPM 116 Lab getting started with workflow and BPM 108 Introduction to Workflow the same class? The answer is no. Uh, they are not. Uh, any class that has lab in front of it is a hands-on lab where you will sit in front of a computer and follow your instructor step-by-step -step through exercises. There are other classes that don't say lab are presentation-based classes where the instructor will stand in front of the room and lecture. So those classes, you can choose which method you uh, will, you would prefer to learn. Would, do you want to learn hands-on in front of the computer or would you like to learn through a lecture-based method? Um, they, some of them do complement each other and I guarantee you, you will get a good education out of whichever one you choose. Certainly. All right. And just FYI, if they do have the same title, it usually will indicate this is the lab version of, you know, whatever the course number is, or this is the presentation version of whatever the course will be. And I have a question, how awesome will BAS 111 be? Well, perhaps um, the anonymous person who asked this question did not hear my soliloquy of the awesomeness of Elementary My Dear Workflow, but I don't know, Simon, how, how awesome do you think Elementary My Dear Workflow will be? Uh, my sources on Twitter actually have told me that it's going to be out of this world. Uh, and, and that's actually coming straight from the uh, presenter's mouth. I was going to really? say the horse's mouth. I mean, the, well, <laughs> surely he's probably the most, uh, the most uh, unbiased of opinions. But I can actually say, having seen this class in Virginia, that it will be incredibly awesome because I have, I, I know everyone, w anyone who attends it will not be sorry. It's going to be the most awesome class at Empower up in the top 10. Because I got to give give ours. Some oh yeah, space absolutely. To be up there too. If, if only all the classes could be in the top ten. Because to be honest, they really are. <laughs> oh, and I did I did hear I just heard. Thank you that um, BAS 111 has one of the highest registration rates already. So definitely, uh, okay. I mean, let the registration rates speak for themselves. Well, I, I think if that, that says anything, it says jump on the class schedule today because you will not want to miss some of these classes and. Unfortunately, once they're gone, they're gone, and uh, we really, uh, we really want you to be able to get into those classes. So get in there quickly and, and make sure that you register uh, today. So we have just a few minutes left. Any last-minute questions? All righty. It looks like all of our questions have been answered. On behalf of Simon and myself, we just want to thank you for spending this hour with us this morning. We hope you got a lot of great information on what's new in Empower and how to make Empower this the best, um, the best Empower yet. 
Um, and if you have any questions, you can feel free to follow up with me or Simon, ask a question in the Laserfish Answers and Power Group. Definitely. And we will be happy to answer all of your questions. So, um, Simon, any last words of wisdom? I can't wait to see every single one of you in 119 days in sunny Anaheim, California. Exactly. I can't wait to see you all, give you hugs, hear what you're doing, and I'm really excited about this Empower. It's going to be the best yet. So on behalf of me and Simon, thanks again for joining us, and we will see you all in Anaheim. Have Bye -bye, a great day, everyone. everyone.